Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. It is 6.37 a.m. It is Friday. It is the 7th of April, 2017. Sun of gun, how about that? The sun is, well, it's starting to rise. It's, the sun is rising outside, which means the earth is still spinning, which means, yes, in fact, we are all still alive. Even, even hamsters that shouldn't be. My older guy, Bumbles, who was, you know, I have four active healthy hamsters that I have and then I have a few well there were three and now there's just two and soon to be just one older sicker hamsters that I've just been nursing through to the end of their days because no one would take an older sick hamster as a as an adoption so I've just been taking those through the end of their times and well, trying to make their lives as, as nice as possible. Like with this little fella, he's actually one of my sick hamsters. If you can see, he's got a growth there on his eye, on his eyelid right there. I've actually clipped that partly when it got really big before because it was just right on the edge of his eye and getting in there. I can't clip anymore because I it'll just bleed and bleed and bleed and it'll be right on his eyelid and it'll bleed and this is a, a little boy, but you see how his hips and his abdomen are so wide. Male hamsters aren't supposed to be that big. He's got, his abdomen is just filled with tumors. His body is tight and big. He's, he's dying. He's on his way out. He doesn't know it because they don't have very big brains and so they're doing their best to just continue living and being happy hamsters but he's he's dying I don't know how long it'll be before he can't even do this anymore because like I said his abdomen is big and tight with uh, the tumors inside of him so I'm just see He's trying to do his best and just be a happy hamster, but he doesn't know he's second dying. And Bumbles, of course, he's still hanging on over there. He's still alive. Uh, here you go, little guy. So I've got my four healthy hamsters, and I've got my two sick and dying hamsters, and those are all my hamsters. Yay! Ugh! Oh. I'm sorry. Mentally, I'm going through a very bad spot right now because of uh, that, that hamster over there right now. I mean, he is having a stroke, massive stroke, and uh, spending the last week dying. Again, it's just reminded me so much of my wife because she came home from the hospital on the hospice and uh, stayed two weeks in my living room slowly getting sicker and dying until she passed away like a little over three weeks I think or a little less than three weeks when she came from hospice and she was gone doctor said there'd be three to six months and but I think a large part of that was uh, because my wife had spent her time her life fighting all of her life just fighting and when you're on hospice you're not fighting anymore you're relaxing you're waiting for the end and she stopped fighting and when she stopped fighting whoosh, bam and she was gone so except he keeps fighting and I'm not strong enough to uh, kill him on my own to, to stop his suffering so, yeah. Past that, though, I mean, things are going really, really well. Uh, last night, when I went to bed, I did not take a methadone tablet. In fact, I had been like uh, probably about six or eight hours since I'd had a methadone tablet. And I was going to bed and I thought to myself, you know, I don't want to get back up and go down and take a methadone tablet. I'm just going to go to bed anyway. And if it hurts too much when I wake up, I'll take one then. 
and then I put a whole bunch of RSO into my uh, denture plate, which is what I do. I take out my lower denture plate, I put RSO inside of that, and then I pop it back in. And then it gets absorbed by the mucous membranes of my inner lining of my mouth, you know, my gum line and stuff. And also, as I swallow my saliva, mm, it, uh, all that RSO that slowly works its way down and then into my system and it just, it's a slower delivery system because you know that RSO sticks to the inside of the dentures too so it it lasts that way for quite some time but uh pardon me because my nose is running because my eyes were tearing so now my nose is running and I hate the feeling of the inside of my nostrils being wet so I have to dry my nose. I don't pick my nose in public. I talked about this. I don't, it's so gross, people picking their nose in public. And then, you know, you watch the Congress people that they'll pick their nose and they'll eat it. And it's like, ugh, ugh. So I, I just dry the inside of my nose because that's, oh, that's an awful feeling, wetness. But anyway, what was I talking about? I can't even remember now. Yeah, literally, I can't remember now. It is a combination of I've only been up a little more than an hour and fibromyalgia. I always feel like I just woke up. So when I add that to having just woke up, double whammy. Thumbs up for the win. Yeah, I cannot literally remember not what I was talking about. That was terrible English. I literally cannot remember what I was talking about. That's That was much better. Oh, my poor stomach. I have to go see the uh, VA doctor later on, and so I've got to see hopefully what my, my stomach's so upset all the time, and hopefully I'm not riddled with cancers. I may be. I mean, honestly, maybe. You know, it's, I think I even mentioned this yesterday, how I had a colonoscopy back in the beginning when I first got married, first couple years, and they removed three pre-cancerous polyps, which means if they hadn't gone in there and removed them, they would have become cancerous, and I never would have known it, and I'd probably be dead now from intestinal cancer. Yay, not a good way to die. So I'm very glad they clipped those uh, polyps out, but apparently because of that, you know, at least part of me seems to be prone to cancers. So I need to get another tube shoved up my backside so that I can take a look at my lower colon. I need to have a tube shoved down my throat so I can take a look at my stomach again. I have had so many endoscopies, it's ridiculous. They've looked at my stomach a lot. So hopefully it's, again, nothing. Hopefully. I don't want to die anytime soon. No, no. I'll claim the life, thank you. Again, not a believer in any life other than no life at all. I mean, it's like if my life gets really, really bad, yeah, I mean, you know, if I'm really, really sick, who knows? I may opt that it's like, you know, there's just going to be pain and suffering. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave now. But I don't know. It's hard to say. I want the option open. It doesn't matter if I use it, but I want the option to be open. Today is going to be a very busy day, and that's why I'm hoping to get things done earlier but I didn't quite yet my uh, two housemates have had their uh, his two younger brothers stay over for last night which is cool he, he likes his family which is good and so he had two of his brothers stay last night and so they're downstairs and uh, since it was also my roommates housemates day off yesterday and today likely they'll be up moderately early today and we'll be doing stuff for and about the kids and all that so don't know i'm trying to get stuff done pretty quickly before things really start moving because i don't know what's going to happen today it could be really really chaotic i'd rather be busy than bored so that's okay it's just when i'm busy with stuff that uh is no fun and then I can't do stuff that is like this. I'd rather be busy doing stuff like this than being busy, like, being bored. Can you be busy being bored? Probably. Hey, thumbs up on that. Well, because I'm at 9 minutes and 36 seconds, and I have sort of run into a wall of stuff to talk about, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the community page on my channel. Now, the community page on my channel is just, uh, that's when you've got your 
creator suite open from YouTube. There's just a whole bunch of things, and it's just a comments page. It just takes everybody's comments from every video and puts them in chronological order. And then that's that's all that the community comments page is. It just puts all comments in, in uh, chronological order of when they came in instead of my having to go to each individual video and check the comments on them. It just lumps all the comments together. You guys don't have to worry about it. You just put comments in underneath the video. That's great. And then it just puts all those comments into one huge long line. So I opened up the whole page on that because what I'm going to go do is thank 20 to 25 kind commenters. Now, if you'd like a shout out on your own, please ask for it. And if I catch it, I will definitely add you onto the list. I have two people that ask for shout outs. And so I'm going to give them shout outs first and then just random shout outs for the other 23. So, but first, of course, if I mispronounce your name, no disrespect is intended. I'm terrible at names. So my sincere apologies but it's uh, also good comment bad comment indifferent comment i don't really mind the fact that you've left a comment is what i'm thanking you for you get me out of my head into the world and that's a good thing because i when my wife died i was stuck in my head and it was killing me and i was drifting i was going to go out. i if i hadn't reached out for a lifeline i would have been gone already after my wife's death and so I reached out in terror for a lifeline because I could see myself just being gone and it was you tube <laughs> so I'm still here because of y'all so thumbs up on that so first off I'd like to say LJ Ocker thank you very much and Mark Arnold thank you so very very much the both of you very very cool and then Mido Omar thank you very very much and Nate Chakur one day one of your videos will be chosen keep suggesting that's you're doing it exactly perfect thank you so much and then there is george long thank you very very much and uh f x n s no nope, that's wrong uh, no that is right six okay so very good and then uh justina aquavita metz thank you so very much and funny videos son of a gun and then there is sam smith thank you very very much and super hercules <laughs> Not just Hercules, Super Hercules. Thumbs up on that. And then Ryan, thank you very much. And Maddie Metz, thank you. Maddie Metz got a hamster on her own, too. So thumbs up. Hopefully Maddie Metz will show pictures of her hamsters and stuff. So thumbs up on that. Spencer, ooh, Howian, H-A-U-G-H-I-A-N. I am terrible at names, but thank you so very much. Greatly appreciated. And then Dubs the One with an underscore at the end. Thank you so very much. And Silent Jim 73 thank you so very much. Greatly appreciated. And uh, Ron Swanson, that's where we are. Thank you. <laughs> Hot Snacks, thank you. S-N-A-X-X, -X, thank you so very much. And then Mason Cormier, C-O-R-M-I-E-R, -E Cormier, Cormier, something like that. Thank you very much. And Hacker Man, thank you. And then there is Necro, Thank you very, very much. Barrett W., thank you very, very much for the comment. Greatly appreciated. Again, I haven't read the comments. I'm going to read the comments after I do this and thumbs up comments and answer them and all that. But right now, I'm just thanking you for leaving the comments. And then there is Zaccaroni, oops, Zaccaroni and Cheese. Thank you very, very much. And Jacob Harrell, H-A-R-R-E-L-L. -L. Thank you very, very much. And then there is Toki Wo Tomato. <laughs> thank you. And then last but not least, black, pink, period, F. That's, that's the way the name is written. So, cool. Thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Absolutely every single one of you. Greatly, greatly appreciated. It is a definite thumbs up. Oh, I have plenty of time to do this now, which is where I do my greetings to everybody in their home languages. Which is where, if you'd like to have a greeting in your home language, if you could tell me how to say hello, goodbye, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, I will definitely put the morning one into this greeting. I try to put them in the others, and I fail miserably, but I still, though, there's this one. So, bom dia, dia deed, dia guit, guten tag, buenos dias, buena de manata. Ohio, la breed, la bas ritas, camusta, bongiorno, terra homocost, yo regelt, bariluz, ni hao, calimera, bonjour. 
Matanva, Bereda, Bokerta, Mesa O'Haley, Jean Dobry, or Les Barmley, Chesch, Labdien, Dobre Utro, Dobre Rano, Bereda, Priviet. Did I say Bereda twice? I can't even remember if I got. Yeah, I do. So my apologies. Priviet, Marhaba, Gomorben, God Morgan, and of course, go forth and have the crack. Good food, good drink, with good friends. A very good thing. Doesn't have to be an alcoholic beverage. Doesn't have to be a crack cocaine. Doesn't have to be a prostitute spreading her thighs for you. Could be anything or just good food, good drink, good friends. Thumbs up. Well, son of a gun, I'm at 15 minutes and change and I honestly, at this point, because of how not really awake I am, I cannot think of anything more to say. So, if you could check out some of my links, that would be awesome. Very, very cool. That would be nice. Anyway, you just click show more and pow, it opens right up. And then if you could toss me a like, that would be awesome. I do appreciate all the positive validation for my existence that I can get. A definite good thing. I think we all like uh, positive validation for our existence, really. It is a good thing. And if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome, but only if you're down with it. Pity subscription is not needed or wanted. They don't help me, they don't help you, they don't help anybody. But if you are down with that, then thumbs up. Hope to keep you as a subscriber forever and ever and ever. Mm-hmm. Definite thumbs up on that. Well, son of a gun, I have a sick hamster to my side. I have a sick hamster over here. I have two healthy hamsters back here. And underneath this one sick hamster, I have, who is this? Come on, little guy. Yup. Bat ear is McGee. Who is really, this is Patches Jr. But I like to call him Bat Ears McGee because he crinkles his ears in and holds them to the side of his head like little bat ears. He is so cute. When he holds them out, they're like uh, radar dish ears, of course. But see, he's a cutie. Well, I'm going to let him go back to sleep. There you go, little guy. Blonk. Well, you have a great day today. I'm gonna to work on a game video. I'm gonna work on a reaction video. I still gotta get my other channel done because I've got so many games that I've gotten a ton of, uh, what a, review keys, which means I got a ton of games that I need to uh, pay back the kindness and forethought of the people who gave me the keys. I need to pay them back by doing the reviews and first impressions on their game. So. I need to get that channel started. Well, hey, you have a good day today. It's uh, almost 18 minutes. I will see you on the flip side. Hopefully, I'm not terrible and awful today. I hope. So, you take care, and I will see you on the flip side.